Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today with a tutorial for these tall cardstock photo albums that I made in a live. So let me show you. Here's one that has a ribbon closure and these measure about five inches across by eight and a half and five of the pages will have this double pocket that you can put little journal cards and things in you can definitely have plenty to make this with a paper pack that comes with cut aparts and even the sticker sheet would make decorating one of these albums up really really easily so the other one here has seam binding for the closure. This one is another paper pack that I got from Tuesday morning. Again, five of the pages will have the double pockets where you can tuck journal cards and all sorts of other little goodies. The great thing about using paper packs is everything coordinates, all the papers, the stickers, the journal cards, and everything. So to start this out, you're going to need four pieces of heavy card stock, and these are cut at four different lengths. They're all going to stay eight and a half by 11 tall, or sorry, eight and a half inches tall by 11 inches, by 10 and three quarters, by 10 and a half, and by 10 and a quarter. You can see they get a little bit smaller as we go. Now for each one, you're going to score on the left at five inches and then you're going to flip your page around and score at five inches again this is so that when we create our book all of the pages are five inches wide now this has a one inch gusset on the 11 inch piece and you'll see what we're going to do with those now this piece is the 10 and three quarter we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to score at five inches on the left we're gonna flip it around and score at five inches again. So this page, because it started out a little shorter, is going to have a three quarter inch gusset in the center. Next, the piece that's 10 and a half inches, again, score at five inches, flip it around and score at five inches again. Because this piece is 10 and a half inches, that will leave a half inch gusset in the center of this page. Then our last one is the 10 and a quarter. Again, score at five inches, flip it around, score at five inches again, and that will leave just one quarter inch gusset right down the center of this cardstock. Now that we have our four pieces of cardstock scored, we're going to fold on all those score lines, pressing down with our bone folder to make sure we have nice, crisp and straight folds. So again, here's our inner piece. When we put our book together, it has one quarter inch. It will fit right inside this piece that has a half inch gusset. And those will fit right inside this piece that has a three quarter inch gusset and all of them will then fit inside this last piece that will be the outside of our book and our front and back page it has a one inch gusset so now i'm using quarter inch score tape um, you could use glue for this i just like the dry score tape the advantage of glue is that you do have a little bit of time to move pieces around to make sure they are lined up, but this is the piece that has the three quarter inch gusset. You will not put score tape on the one inch gusset because that's gonna be the outside of the book. So I'm using three pieces. I'm overlapping them there a little bit in the middle. And again, this is the outside or the back of my cardstock that has the three quarter inch gusset. You can just trim that excess there at the top. Next, we're going to take the piece that has the half inch gusset and we are going to go two times down the spine there, the outside spine with our quarter inch score tape. It's important when you place this down that you do burnish it with a bone folder or something just to make sure the glue gets into 
the fibers of the paper. And again, just trim off the excess at the top. And finally, we're gonna take our piece with the quarter inch gusset, and we're just gonna go one strip of the quarter inch score tape down. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you are placing this score tape is you don't want it to go over the score lines or the folds because we don't want glue to be sticking out on the pages. We want these all to be just on the back folded gusset. So now that you have all your pieces with your score tape, we're going to stack the deck to make our book. So I'm starting here. This is my outside piece, my one inch gusset that has no score tape. And I'm going to take the score tape off of my three quarter inch gusset. And I like using the scoreboard for this because it holds it nice and flat and I have the measurements. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to center that three quarter inch gusset on top of the one inch gusset. So I should have an eighth of an inch on either side. So there you can see an eighth of an inch there and an eighth of an inch on the right side. And they should be straight on top of each other because I'm using the scoreboard. So here you can see our front two pages and our back two pages of our book. Now I'm just gonna leave it there. And now I'm gonna take the score tape off of my half inch gusset and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're gonna center that gusset using the score lines on top of the three quarter inch gusset. And again, once we have it lined up and pressed down with our bone folder, you'll see there's an eighth inch there and an eighth inch there. And go ahead and burnish that really well so that our book stays nice and secure. The last piece has a quarter inch strip and we're gonna now center that quarter inch gusset on top of our half inch gusset. And now you can see we have the base of our book all put together. We've got all those pages, four on the front half, four on the back half. And now for our decoration, we need 16 pieces of cardstock for the double mat. And those are gonna measure four and seven eighths of an inch by eight and three eighths of an inch. And then 16 pieces of pattern cardstock at four and five eighths by eight and one eighth. So we're gonna do a double mat. We're gonna put the pattern paper on top of the red and then when we center that on top of the book, you'll see a little bit of the black showing. So the first thing you're gonna do now is take all of your pattern cardstock, use adhesive all the way around the edges and a little bit in the middle. And we're going to now mat all of those pattern cardstock pieces with the red or whatever color you choose to go with your project. Make sure you do burnish each one so that adhesive really connects the two pieces of cardstock and you don't want your book to fall apart. So go ahead and do all 16 of those pieces. Then you're gonna need to decide which two you're gonna set aside for your front cover and your back cover of your book because we're gonna then put all the rest of the inside pages into our book. So I've already set aside my front and back covers, and now I'm just going to go through and pick the pairs of pages that will go together. So I'll just kind of flipping through, and I don't glue anything down until I've decided for all of these 14 pages what they're going to look like and which ones are going together. Now that I have all my pairs of pages matched up, I'm going to use my adhesive going around the edges again and a little in the middle. And now we're going to center those onto each of our black pages of our book. And you'll just have a tiny little sliver of the black cardstock from the book 
coming out from behind the red cardstock. You'll go ahead and do all 14 pages, not doing the front and back covers. Now that we have all of our pages glued down, let's do a little flip through so you can see how they all coordinate, how they're all double matted. This really makes this book substantial and each of the pages really firm in your hands. Now we have some pattern cardstock for pockets, five pieces that are four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and five pieces that are four and seven eighths by two. Now you can use a circle punch to punch a little notch in each of these pocket pieces, I'm using an envelope punch board that has this little um, shaped punch here at the top, and I'm just lining that up in the center of each of my pieces. So again, we have five pieces that are three and seven eighths tall, and five pieces that are two inches tall. We're going to layer these on top of each other to create those five double pockets. So here I'm gonna lay out my five larger pockets and then I'm just gonna match up the paper that I feel goes best with them. And this is what our double pockets will look like. So the first thing I'm doing is taking a really thin nozzle bottle of glue. I'm going around the sides and the bottom of one of my smaller pieces and I'm gluing that right on top, lining up the side and bottom edges on one of my larger pocket pieces. We're gonna go through and glue all the small pockets, let those dry, and then we're going to figure out which pages we want to put our pockets on. I usually like to start with one right inside the book and then do three kind of randomly, left or right throughout the book, and then end with one somewhere in the back pages. But you can put them wherever you want. You could even put two pockets right across from each other. Just remember that when you put stuff in them, it makes them a little bulky. So once I know where I'm putting these pockets, now I'm gonna put glue on the sides and bottom of the larger pocket piece, and we'll glue that down right on top of our patterned cardstock. Now that we have all our double pockets in, I'll just do a little flip through here and show you where they are and that there are in fact two pockets on top of each other, a larger one and the smaller one in front. We are going to cut one more piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by one. And then with a tiny little bit cut off each of those dimensions, we're going to use this piece with three strips of our quarter inch score tape and we're going to decorate the spine of our book. This, um, like I said, just decorates it a little bit more and gives just one more layer of stability to our spine. Now that we have the inside of our book done, the last thing we need to do before we put on our front and back covers is on the front cover, right in the middle, we're gonna lay a strip or two of adhesive, and then we're going to find the middle of our piece of ribbon or seam binding, and we're going to lay that down flat on the front cover. We can just put a little bit of adhesive because when we put the front cover decoration on, it will hold that seam binding or that ribbon down. So we're gonna do the front cover, we're gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the back cover, just getting it as straight as we possibly can.
And now that we have our ribbon closure attached, we can put our piece that we had set aside to decorate the front cover of our book. Same way we did the inside pages around the edges and a little on the middle. That's going to help hold that seam binding or ribbon in place. And we're just going to center this on the front cover of our book. Then we'll flip it around and making sure our ribbon is straight, we'll do the same thing with the piece we set aside for our back cover. And I'm always checking to make sure I know where the top of the book is and the bottom so I can put things down facing the right direction. Burnish that down really, really well so it does a great job holding that seam binding in. Next, I took one of the cut aparts from the paper collection and I mounted it on some black, actually some red and then some black, double matted it and used that Happiness is Homemade for the front cover. Then you can see how we're gonna be able to tie this book up with the seam binding or the ribbon. Now for the pockets, we can take the three to four inch cut aparts that come with the paper collection. And then I am cutting some cardstock at three and a quarter by four and a quarter, just a little bit larger, so that we can mount those cut aparts on the black cardstock. This will go in the pockets. Then I'm gonna cut a three inch by four inch white to put on the back of the black to make like an area where you could journal. So we will glue or tape down the cut apart to the black that is a little bit larger. And then on the back, we're going to attach the white that is the same size as the cut apart. So it also has the matting of the black around it. These are gonna be really nice to stick in the pockets along with this collection happened to have some recipe cards as well because it was kind of a baking and cooking theme. But you can put stickers in the pockets, whatever you think of to go along with this book, especially if you're giving it as a gift. The last thing I'm going to show you that you can do to add to the decoration of your book is take the sticker sheet that usually comes in these paper collections and just add a few to some of the pages wherever you see that you would like to add them. Thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see more paper crafting DIY videos from me. And I sure hope that you will subscribe or follow this page. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.